Hello friends, in this video we will see passing data from activity to the fragments in another studio. Okay, how to pass the data from one activity to the fragments. Okay, now we will open the new project. Go to the file, new keyword. Okay, then we will choose the fragments. Please uncheck these two checkbox. Okay, we will change the name of the fragments to the my fragment. Okay, this is our new fragments it is same like the activity it has one the xml file and the one java file okay we'll go to the main activity xml remove that hello world text to be we'll change the constant layout to the linear layout now i will explain how to pass the data from activity to the fragment with one small design we'll change the orientation of the linear layout to the vertical okay. we'll take one small design like that you'll we'll take one two text to edit text box and one button when i added uh, data into the both edit text when i click on the button that data would be sent to the uh, fragment that is that's our design okay we'll take edit text box i will give i will give the hint as a enter mail id <clears throat> okay. We'll increase the text size to the 30 dp. Okay, and we need to give the ID because we need to use the ID in the job part. We need one more text, and that's why we'll need copy and paste. We'll change the ID, ID2. Okay, enter my ID and I will give the hint as the enter password. Okay, we need to take one button. Okay, we will give id to the button and give id as a b btn1 ok just we will change the text to the send now we will change the layout graph to the center Okay, the button will appear in the center yeah this is our design when i click on the button that the both the mail id and the password is sent to the fragment this is our design and we need to take one frame layout to display the fragment result Is it dynamically we are using the fragments dynamic fragments we are using okay static fragments are rarely used by using the fragment i will change the fragment id to the sorry frame layout id to the frame one two three this is frame level for the display the result of the fragment in the previous section you are okay you are seeing the frame layout but the layout is match pairing Go to the main activity Java part. Okay, we will declare the var variable to the both the detection and the button. Detection one e two. For the button, we I will do button variable is b. Okay. Okay, there are five steps for the connection between the fragment and the activities. Okay, if you don't know guys please watch my last video 
ओके फ्रैगमेंट मैनेजर मैनेजर इक्व टू गेट सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द फ्रैगमेंट मैनेजर दिस इज अ फर्स्ट स्टेप सेकेंड स्टेप फ्रैगमेंट ट्रांजेक्शन टी इज इक्व टू मैनेजर डॉट बिगिन ट्रांजेक्शन ओके ओके इज गिविंग एर जस्ट क्लिक एंड ऑल टेंटर रूल चेंज द टाइप ओके दिस टू आर मतलब नो वील नीड टू क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द माई फ्रैगमेंट दैट इज अ माई फ्रैगमेंट इज अ फ्रैगमेंट नेम और फ्रैगमेंट नेम आई विल गिव द वेरिएबल एज एम फॉर न्यू माई फ्रैगमेंट ओके फर्स्ट स्टेप इज द फ्रैगमेंट मैनेजर गेट सपोर्ट फ्रैगमेंट मैनेजर सेकेंड स्टेप इज द फ्रैगमेंट ट्रांजेक्शन टीज करो मैनेजर डॉट बिगिन ट्रांजेक्शन द थर्ड स्टेप इज टू क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द और माई फ्रैगमेंट इन द फोर्थ स्टेप टी डॉट एड वी नीड टू एड द फ्रेम लेवेट फॉर द कंटेनर बिकॉज वो आर से ओके वो आर डिस्प्लेइंग द रिजल्ट ऑफ द माई फ्रैगमेंट फॉर दिस वी नीड द कंटेनर दिस वाई नीड ओके आर डॉट आई डी डॉट फ्रेम ऑफ फ्रेम इज द आईडी ऑफ द फ्रेम लेवेट एंड द एम फोर इज द माई फ्रैगमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट वेरिएबल टी डॉट कमिट बी इज नाउ इनिशियलाइज बी बट दीज टू टी डॉट एड एंड टी डॉट कमिट वी शुड बी एड इन द लास्ट ऑफ अवर द कोड सो विल रिमूव दिस वन आफ्टर इनिशियलाइजेशन ओके विल रिमूव बोथ Okay, our code is to be below these three steps. After that, after the our code is completed, we need to add both the t dot add and the t commit. Now initialize the edit text table by using the find view by id r dot id dot id one. Okay. Okay, all the initialized code. Now we write on click listener for the button. P dot set on click listener new. On click list. Okay. In the earlier, without using the fragment, we will use the intent class and the bundle and the put extra method to send the data. Here we will use only bundle. We need to create the object of bundle B equals to. I will change the number B bundle B two equals to new bundle. Okay. Next after that, in the earlier we will use the put extra method. Here we will use the put only put string so name. Where we will get the name from the edit text one. That is even dot get text dot to string. Same thing B two. Put string for the password also. We'll take string. We'll take variables variable P W D. E two dot get text dot to string. Okay. Just remember, in the earlier we will use the intent and the put extra method. Here we will use the only bundle yeah. and put extra method. Here we will use the put. Okay. Now we need to give the M4. M4 is the variable variable of the of our my fragment object. M4 dot set arguments of the bundle B2. Okay. Now we will add T dot add. Or dot id dot frame one two three. My m four, m four is the variable of the my fragment object. Make it as the final. 
If error comes, just press Alt Enter. Click on there. Next, T dot commit. Okay, now it's the main activity job part is over. Now we'll go to the fragment activity. We are sending the two data two data from the first activity to the fragment. Okay. Okay, here we need to catch the both the data. For the catching, we'll take two text views because we are sending the two data. One is the password, one is the name and mail ID, and the second one is the password. That's why I need two text views. Okay, first text view I will take a text as the TSP. Okay, we'll copy paste because we require one more text view. I will open the microphone okay, Java. Initialize the both the text views. Text view T1 and T2. Okay. Remove this one. Control X. Initialize using view V equals to just paste here. Then return V. Instead of giving the both uh, old statement in the return part, we'll change it to the way because we need to initialize the T1 using the that we v, v dot find you by ID R dot ID dot T X one. Now we need to set text T1. Okay, first we need to get both the string name equals to. Before that, we will write take the bundle. In the intent, we will get the intent I just get in the same same the thing here bundle. I will take the variable B3 equals to get arguments. I will store in the one variable string name equals to b3 dot get string the variable I have used, used there is name in the put method okay string password I will take where same variable will take pwd equals to b3 dot get string there I used pwd you okay, can see one second okay pwd I have used We'll take PWD here. Yeah. Now we'll set both the uh, name and PWD password to the set text T1 dot set text name. T2 dot set text password. Okay. Now we'll run and see. <coughs> Okay, here is the output. We'll enter the mail. Okay, only Prashant is good. Okay, see what's the problem. Okay, we'll open the microphone. Okay, there is an error. Okay, we'll change it to the orientation. That is visible, but okay. orientation to the vertical. There I go. Okay, now we'll run and see. We'll enter the mail ID. Change password. Okay, here is the output. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.